y'all hey y'all welcome back i had to come back on and see i mean just tell y'all how good the biscuits was now this is my review on the greek yogurt biscuits that i did let me pause out a minute okay so if you saw my other video then you know that i did these greek yogurt biscuits and i must say for the first time in my life i made drop biscuits the right way and they were so good okay so i did the drop biscuits and they turned out to be so good when i tell y'all if you have ne that would be my speaker hold up okay so if you haven't tried the drop biscuits with greek yogurt you gotta try it you don't even need but a little bit of water no milk at all because the Greek yogurt is already the dairy in it, so and a little bit of self rising, um, self rising flour, and then add you some baking soda in there. Not too much, just a little bit, and then you just start spooning them out, dropping them once you get them stirred in. Don't over stir them though, because then they'll be tough. These were just right that I made tonight, and I tell you, I would I would do them again. The only thing I would do different. Because I'm saving me a couple for in the morning to go with some eggs. Because my baby going to come up here in the morning. My little grandbaby. And eat breakfast with me. So I'm saving us some for in the morning. But the only thing I would do differently is probably. Instead of it being vanilla Greek yogurt. Which that's all I had at the time. Now that's good if you want something sweet now. that It do taste good. But instead of um, vanilla Greek yogurt. I would use regular. regular just regular Greek yogurt. Um, no flavor at all or nothing in it because that would be good right there but i truly have enjoyed it though so y'all look when you get time check out my video on the amazing greek yogurt drop biscuits y'all ain't trying to be cute on here either today has not been my day it's been like mentally wise it's been a very emotional day for me it was an emotional weekend, so I was like, let me get up and fix me a Sunday dinner. Didn't really want much of anything, so I said, you know, so I can get out the phone. Let me try something that I ain't tried before. Let me do something new, because when I do something new, it always makes me happy, and it gets me gets my blood to, um, moving, you know, in the right direction. So I had um, turkey hot dogs. Y'all know how you like grilled hot dogs, except I don't do grills, so I put it in the skillet and just put a little spray on it and let it get a little charred. Y'all know a little char burnt, a little char burnt. I let it do that, and then I took it out and I had actually did some cabbages. I sauteed some cabbage and put it in between the biscuit, along with that and a little bit of mustard. And when I took that thing just scared me. Hold up, y'all. I had to do something with that. That thing, oh, it was making too much noise. I'm getting ready to play my bass guitar, and that's why I got it on. But, um, um, I just wanted to do something different. I actually lost my train of thought, but that's okay. I'll pick up somewhere else. I just wanted to do something different because I had been feeling bad all weekend. I mean, just emotional for nothing. I mean, I thought about everything, everything. And I was like, I got to do something to distract this thinking because now I'm overthinking and ain't nothing happening. I shouldn't be feeling bad. But every once in a while, you know, my safety defense, it comes up and I have to. Sometimes it takes longer days and hours than it does other days and so this this weekend just happened to be one of the weekends that you know it was up i didn't i didn't even go outside i think i took pictures on friday you no know, saturday trying to make myself happy and stuff and you know make myself feel safe but if you have been through it you know what i'm you know what i'm talking about but if you have not been through it i will tell y'all that it's it's hard to get out of that zone it's, it's very hard but it is possible so i'm believing tonight that when i go to sleep well i'm believing right now that it's, it's already you know just falling apart it's falling apart it's it's coming off of me because that can disable you know just disassociating and and you know just constantly thinking about it all day long it just 
it don't do no good to think about things, uh, you know, because that trauma is, it's done happen. But to come, you know, I know that. But try convincing this body of mine. So that's where my conflict comes in at. It's trying to convince my body that, look, you're safe. You don't have to get up here and be doing all this. You're just showing off now. Now you're just acting out. And we ain't going to get to do nothing all weekend because you acting out. So I did absolutely nothing all weekend. <laughs> I did manage to get me a radio show in today, though. So if y'all like gospel music, go check me out. UGA Gospel Storm with Miss Coco Bowden. You can just type it in the Google search. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow there as well. Follow me on Facebook, My Plus Size Grandma Reality Show Podcast. And don't forget to check out the podcast, y'all. Really great podcast. I mean, if you're just looking for some realness and, you know, just what it's like a day in my life, that's that's the place to go. Because, like, I, I be coming up, like, from topics to things that happen in my life every day. That's what it's all about. So, Y'all be sure to check it out. Don't hold back. Um, and sometimes, y'all, I would not do the light in here because it actually hurts my eyes. And I don't know if y'all can tell or not, but I have I have um, blood vessels all up and through here that are busted. They busted up and through there. And, I mean, it's just real bloody. So, I try to keep the lights dimmed. You know, that's part of those symptoms that I go through. And, y'all, it's going to be all right, though. I'm not even worried about it. I mean, it's just like I said, it's like trying to convince my body, like, you got to calm down because you're overreacting for nothing, for nothing. And so I don't tell a whole lot of people when I'm going through like that because a lot of people don't have understanding and compassion to it. And then they like, well, you just playing or just get over it or, uh-oh, here she go again. She, you know, and I understand how that is because I've done people like that too. I've done people like that too and did not realize that I was going to be in the same position. All it takes is one event or a lifetime of events that you have blocked out. That's all it takes. I had so much stuff blocked out that now that I'm starting to relive it, you know, it's just amazing what the human body goes through and how the brain works to help, you know, keep you safe. Your brain is here to help keep you safe. And sometimes it just misfires because you've been through so much that it's just, you know, misfiring. And now it's getting to the point where they say something going on and ain't nothing going on. But it has to do what it has to do. That's how it's designed. And it's up to me to come back in. I keep getting the training, keep getting the therapy and stuff. I do got to find another EDMR therapist too, by the way. Because the one I got, she quit. Didn't say nothing, just up and left, y'all. Y'all, I had to tell y'all about that on another, uh, on another, um, what's the name? What's it called? I got to tell y'all on another video. I had to tell y'all about that because that, she, nah. That was abandonment right there, for real. That was abandonment, rejection, everything. Because she knew she couldn't do the job. Then, you know, she should at least warn people in advance that, hey, I'm going to have to be going somewhere. But like I said, I'll talk about that another time. But anyway, I'm finna hit, hit my guitar up, big boy, right here beside me. Y'all know I ain't coming on without big boy, but we're not finna play anything tonight. We're not doing anything for y'all tonight. Um, my plan tonight, I'm just going to simply... Um, Turn down the lights, and y'all see I got my lights on back here. Turn down the lights and just groove in peace, love, and joy, and relaxation, and just enjoy my big boy. All right, so y'all, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. That way, next time I post, you'll automatically be notified. Y'all know y'all want to be notified, so do what you got to do. All right, y'all. Peace, love, and happiness.